Hi, and welcome back to our series on Leading with Impact. I'm your host, Samantha Brighton. Today, I'm joined by Elvis Filote from Romania. Elvis is an entrepreneur, a coach, a mentor, and someone who is passionate about helping others find their purpose and their passions. Thanks so much for joining us today, Elvis. It's great to be with you. How are things over there? Things are okay, challenging, hopefully recovering. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're just waiting to see what happens next. I think the rest of the world is kind of in the same spot. So I really appreciate you taking the time to join us. And I think it's really amazing that technology allows us this opportunity to have this discussion today. It's really easy to separate work and personal life when we're in our typical work environments. With the changes that have happened in the world, how has this new environment changed you and your view of others? I think it challenges all of us uh, to realize the importance of relationships. That's one thing I realized going through this situation. I'm more appreciative of relationships, time spent with people in my team, and uh, just encouraging and supporting each other. So in our pre-interview questions, you spoke about a lack of structure during the pandemic. So in terms of adapting to the changes and this lack of structure, tell me more about that experience and then how that changed uh, the way you work. Normally, I'm not a, a very structured person. I need the help of my phone, my agenda of meetings with people. But when this happened, I no longer had the nine to five program. There were days when I realized I had worked from morning till evening. I think that was a challenge for many of the clients I, I work with and I, I coach. So I think one of the most important things is to bring structure, uh, to make sure you're working at the same place and not move around the house, that you dress when you start your work as if you were in the office. So just doing things like that, bringing structure in my life was extremely helpful. Absolutely. We want to know about an inspiring leader in your life. Can you tell us that story about how that person made a difference in your life? I've had the opportunity to work with uh, a lot of leaders. Um, for many of them, it, we worked for years, but with this individual, I only worked for one year. His name is Steve Rod. And one day we were working, uh, we actually got, from, got back from a meeting and Steve um, asked this from me, Elvis is really what we're doing the way we spoke to, to this client is really what we should be doing. And it was about the, the way we were approaching clients, our products. It, it was almost like sacrilege what Steve asked me because in our organization, things were only done in a certain way. Questions like these that Steve asked helped me rethink why we're doing what we're doing. Uh, help me adapt to the changes in, in our culture through crisis even. So I will always think of Steve as, as the person that has challenged my thinking and helped me find the capacity or build the capacity to adapt to changes in the culture, in the culture or in, in my world. That's fantastic. I think, I think when we challenge each other to look at things differently, that's when we can really understand the bigger picture and how, you know, one situation can affect everybody differently, uh, whether it be your neighbor or somebody across the world. So I think that's really great. Tell me, with him being a really inspiring leader to you, how much did his faith play into your relationship with him and how he led as a leader? In our organization, faith is really important because it, it, it guides our beliefs um, and eventually it guides what we're doing and how we're doing things. So for, for me personally, faith in God, having an authentic relationship with God is a very important uh, piece of, of my life. And I think it's important for other leaders as well, because as I, as I said, it shapes our thinking, our beliefs, 
and the way we interact with other clients. So I have seen that in, in Steve. Uh, Steve didn't just challenge my thinking, he did it in a way that was very personal. I, I was able to uh, be with Steve with his family and have breakfast early in the morning and also be with them sometimes when they were putting their kids to bed. So just seeing the fact that Steve was living out his values, not just at work as a leader, but at home, made me realize that Steve was talking about a faith and principles in business that were true for his entire life, professionally, personally, and spiritually. Alvis, tell me about your next steps and how you lead through after the pandemic. That's a very good question, and I wish I had all the strategy um, clear, but there are some, some things that I think are going to be guiding principles for, for me. Talking to our clients and to people I, I coach, I realized that one of the key ingredients for adaptability is helping our teams understand why we're doing what we're doing and build the capacity in them to adapt quickly our strategy to how we're meeting the needs of our clients. That's a guiding principle for me to make sure that I always help my team answer the question, why are we doing what we're doing? The other thing is to really value people. I think in this pandemic, um, many of us, because of the many possibilities and the potential danger we were facing, many people have gone in, into this fight or flight mode. Securing ourselves were, was obviously the, the main priority. So being there for people is so important in building motivation. Do you feel that uh, your strategy sessions will now include how to deal with pandemics? <laughs> for sure, for sure. It's, it's actually something we're getting ready right now to, to help our, our clients, either in training or coaching sessions. It's, it's an important topic. So whether this is going to come back and we're going to face it sometime next year, hopefully not, we need to be prepared. Thank you so much for joining us today. I think now more than ever, we realize it's not the material things that uh, we miss right now. It is absolutely relational. So thank you so much for that. Oh, you're welcome. I think it was my pleasure. And it's always great to meet with you guys and uh, watch your videos. Thank you for those. To everyone watching today, I have a question for you. If someone were looking in on your life, would they be able to say that your values at work are the same at home. Please comment below. I'm really interested in hearing your thoughts. If you liked this video, please follow our Facebook and Instagram pages, as well as subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notified about all things Leader Impact. Thanks so much for joining us and see you next time.